Hey, I've got a great project house. If you're in the market, 14 Patterson Street, East Weymouth, Lakehurst area. Lakehurst was set up as a summer bungalow colony. Interesting history. This is a gut renovation. You're touching every surface. I'll show you. You're not going to get a water view, but the pond is really just on the other side of those trees. Uh, let me show you the map. See that? See the water is down there at the bottom? This was actually two lots. Can you believe that in the 20s? Wow. Anyway, the house was converted into year-round living in the 60s, but man, it's a tiny house and we're on a slab, so no basement. Porch was added in the 40s and then enclosed um, in the 60s. Two bedrooms. Um, they're both basically the same size, about 10 by 11. They both have a closet. They both have two windows. The ceilings are not really tall in this house, seven foot two. A couple of them are seven foot three. It does have a nice flow though. This is a perfectly usable setup. It's just functionally obsolescent. Not a lot of updates over time. Original windows. Hollow core doors. Super basic bathroom. Ugh. You're working on that. Surprise closet with, ha, there's your drying rack. <laughs> Love it. Um, all right, no basement, remember? So your utilities are right here on the first floor. At least they're easy to get to. Natural gas for everything here. The furnace, 2011, and it has been serviced. That's a plus. Hot water tank, six years old, not bad. Um... The electrical service is out here in the foyer, porch, uh, mudroom, I'll call it, 100 amps. And I mean, oh my gosh, look at that. You got five open slots. And a 20 amp circuit going to the garage, which has its own sub panel. I'll show you that in a minute. So from the living room, we go into the kitchen. Yes. That's where the washing machine is. And you got to pivot it around, hook up the drain hose into the sink. I know it's not ideal. This is a tiny efficiency kitchen and it's just got a cockamamie pull down stair in the kitchen. I know, but you could fix it. The attic does offer good storage. I love this half door. That's so funny. <laughs> The attic does have good storage, so you might not want to sacrifice the whole thing, but you could probably cathedral part of it, and it'll have a much more open feel. It does have a shed, but whoa, it's at the end of its life. The granite outcroppings are actually beautiful here. And the garage, it was a Grossman's prefab 20 by 22. <laughs> it was built in 1987. Uh, it needs some love, but... Um, it, it, it's a pretty big space. There's all kinds of crazy wiring going on. All right, you're going to have to figure that out. But look at the space. Now, remember I said sub panel. There it is. Nice. Um, there's electricity here, but there's no garage door opener. So you'll need to add that. All right. I appreciate you watching. Hope to see you at the open house.